We'll go with J C. Actually, I'm gonna go with J. So here are the characters. We're gonna do easy mode all cups. I had this idea a year ago. I was showing this off a year ago, and I was doing some live theory crafting. Hey, you got Goemon, you got Gray Fox from Metal Gear. You got Moai, Baseball Guy, Herodias Guy, the Poppin' Music Cat, and uh, this is actually Dracula, believe it or not. All right, three, two, one is gonna be a train wreck. Go. Here's the deal with this game. If you turn, you lose speed. I'm not making this up. This is a real mechanic in the game. If you turn, you lose speed. So what you want to do is hop around everywhere. <laughs> it's a platformer racing game. Now the record for pretty much all of the all cups categories uses just Goemon. Goemon is the quickest to select. And while the top speed isn't quite as high, it's pretty close to as high as you can get, and much easier to control, you lose less speed if you bump into something. So Goemon seems like the best character overall. However, for the first cup, Dracula is better, because the courses are simpler. And we're gonna have a secret character. This is my big concept. We're gonna have a secret character for the rest of the run. So you wanna try and minimize the number of uh, D-pad presses as much as possible. I'm about to lap these guys on easy mode. Where are we splitting here? Now this one's kind of a tricky course, because these turns are pretty sharp, and Dracula struggles a little bit. But you can make it. There's a cool mechanic coming up here, where if you hit a pad while you're turning, and then jump immediately afterwards, you'll get a really sharp angle like that, which is quite useful. Now here, Dracula's actually too fast. You gotta manually hop over that pad. That's a really good lap one. See, this game's a lot of fun. I played this game when it came out, as a kid, as a lad. But no one I knew had it. And no one talks about it. It's been totally forgotten. It's a great little Konami game. Now, there are some subtleties I'm not going to go into here, but sometimes you want to just hop. Sometimes you want to hold the D-pad slightly because it slows you down. There's also a more advanced trick where you mash on the brake button while you're turning and hopping at the same time. That's the highest APM this game ever gets. Like there, for example, I was trying to do that technique but I lost my boost. Not a big deal, though. Can you believe that playable Dracula is about to be in a world record speedrun? Can you believe that? I'm not sure it's going to be this run, but we're getting it today. I will not cut stream until the record is mine.
How long is the speed run? I think the record is 41 minutes. All right, so here we go. I I'm gonna mess this up, guaranteed. I practiced this for like 30 minutes yesterday. I'm gonna mess it up. It's impossible. Oh, I got it first try. Easy! Now, if you do this completely optimally... Oh, dude. It's fine. If you do this completely optimally, that only costs about three or four seconds. Here, it costs me like 15. But that's so worth it. You take that 15 second time loss every day of the week. Because that unlocks a new character. Can you guess who the character is? It's not Sonic. It's a Konami game. I saw one comment on YouTube. It was like, why didn't this game have Frogger in it? Honestly agree. I mean, it would be perfect. Look how much we're hopping around here. Yeah, it's Vic Viper. So this is gonna be a speed run where the optimal character choices are Dracula and then Vic Viper from Gradius. What a sick game. Speaking of items, there is some RNG. There is a star power equivalent in this game, which is quite rare, and then even more rare, it's like a bullet bill item, kind of, from Mario Kart 8, and each character has got a unique one. For Dracula, it's death. Castlevania death is in this game, and if you get it, it saves like five seconds every time. Well, somewhere between three and five. I haven't done exact testing yet. So item RNG matters a lot. There's also licensing RNG, which we're going to see in a little bit. This is the big place I'm probably going to lose them over the record. I ran into the tree, dude. Dude? It's a bad run. I kind of like how this game goes for the deeper cuts. It's not Solid Snake, etc. Well, I'm gonna just take this. Best RNG here is the, um, that beach level I was just on. But this one's also really quick, so you might as well just take it. It picks from one of the four courses randomly. So you can see how that would be a big time loss, potentially. Record gets this one first try. A dude! Unlucky. But then there's another one coming up later that was, uh, unlucky. This loses about 15 seconds, I think. Assuming you're not getting hit by poppin' cat missiles. But it takes eight seconds to try again. So, um, yeah, you just take this one.
And this one is always here. It's like a time trial. So you gotta, it's kinda like a cool gimmick in this game. You gotta do these little challenges sometimes to unlock additional cups. In this run there are two. Pretty textbook. All right, here we go. The new character. Bad menuing. Here we go. The Vic Viper. This car is faster than Dracula, who's the heavyweight, and it controls like. But look at the speed. Hang on. Look at the speed, dude. I'm getting banged around here. This is my big contribution to this game right here. I know it's kind of out of the way to get this guy, but it's so worth. Also, there are some interesting subtle properties. Like, for whatever reason, I was doing some testing, Vic Viper does not lose as much speed off-road. I don't know why, but makes the car even better than normal. I'll unlock it, it's fun. Double is less fun. I think that is the reason, yeah. There's not as much traction when you're on a spaceship. But I guess there's some. This part's hard because Vic Viper is too fast. So unlike with Dracula, I can like freely go on the grass here and it's totally fine. Sometimes it's even better. We're gonna be seeing this a lot. You effortlessly lap people with Vic Viper. This is one of my favorite stages. I love the Parodia stages. They're hard though. I like the music in this game a lot, too. You know, it's from the Circle of the Moon team, what do you expect? Good lab one. Haven't gotten a single good item, for the record. Zero Starmen, an 
and no bullet bills. Record gets like five, I think, in total. That's a ballpark. Uh, the special item for Vic Viper? I've never gotten it. Not even in testing. Oh, actually, yes, I have it. It's a pig. I got it once. It's a pig from Parodius. We need to get good pig RNG in this category. Nice angle. Pig right here. How did I miss that blue? The pig makes you go really fast, and you're invincible. It's the best item. It's also the rarest. The boost pads automatically point you in the right direction. They actually don't. That's something you gotta control manually. Oh my god, it's a Metal Gear stage! Did you know the Metal Gear collection is out right now? I gotta buy that. Sadly, this is probably the closest I will get to streaming a Metal Gear game. What an angle! For the record, those mines, you cannot hop over them. I spent like 10 minutes with a save state trying to hop over. It's like a Doom hitbox, it goes all the way to the sky. Not bad, not bad. Oh, that was close. Alright, we got the Castlevania stage coming up next. Please look forward to it. It's a good one. Sadly, it's not Bloody Tears. a banger though. If you get hit by any of these fireballs, it's like five seconds gone. It's brutal. Dude, I got so greedy. That was so unnecessary. I'm losing to go aim on. There we go. Hey, did you know that Bear from Circle the Moon is in this game? And is the best character? And is so good? This category was invented to have characters that weren't the Bear. I'm not even making that up. <laughs> Before today, 
It was either Goemon in all cups, or the bear in everything else. We're gonna see that at some point. It's not relevant for this speedrun because you unlock him on the very last course of the game. It's kind of like a post-game character. So that character that just got me is called Pastel. Can anyone tell me which game she's from? Sadly, at this point, kind of a deep cut. Although it's a great historic franchise. There we go, yeah. A couple people knew it's a Twin B character. Oh, I must have missed that retro. That's a cool stage, there's one more Castlevania stage later. Now, I'm gonna give you all a little bit of a hint about a cool stage coming up. Here's the hint. It's another Hideo Kojima series. There's Metal Gear and there's one other one. It is not Death Stranding. Can you imagine? This was the origin of Death Stranding right here. This 2001 handheld game. The seeds were planted. That was a weird angle. Worked out though. Of course, I kind of want to practice. I'm not super happy with my angles here. I'll work on this one. Oh, took that one too tight. That can happen. I mean, look, it's day one. I'm going to work on literally all of this. At the moment, I'm getting carried hard by the routing. One day I'll be decent. Probably the toughest stage so far. I mean, look at that turn. Look at that turn. I've yet to figure that one out. Pardon me, Dracula. Fun fact, that ramp is actually slower. Here we go, finally. All right, here's the bullet bill. This is like 30 miles an hour higher than my cap normally. That's the item. 
And if you get that as Dracula, it's death. A little bit early. The stage was going really well until then. Too bad. We still lapped somebody, it's fine. That's true, if we got a sequel, Bomberman could be in the sequel. By the way, apparently there was a sequel to this. It was Japan only, mobile phones only. Here we go. Penguin Adventure, a Hideo Kojima game. But yeah, in the phone version, Sparkster is playable. How about that? You might laugh, but these are the most technical choruses in the game. These penguins are no joke. Got it. Once I get better at the game, we're gonna go for that hop every single time. All right, time for a lot of RNG. Who's ready? Yes! Best RNG! Let's go! Do oh, I'm blowing it. I'm blowing it. I'm choking the free world record. Oh, that's unlucky! If you get turned into a pig, you're really slow and you can't use items, but... I can't explain why. In that form only, turning doesn't slow you down. A pig can turn freely. Dude, oh dude, oh my god. One of the other drivers, no oh my god. Knock that penguin into me, oh it's falling apart. So I got the best RNG, but this has been a disaster. It'll have to do. Best RNG again, are you kidding me? I just got the one in 16. Miracle run. Miracle run. Dude! <laughs> Kojima, you gotta calm down. All right, we're locked back in.
Okay, to summarize this run so far. Carried by routing and carried by RNG. This one's interesting. You'll notice my top speed's a lot higher. That's because despite playing the game on easy mode, time trial always defaults to either normal or hard. I think it's normal. So you gotta like adjust mid run to the different speeds. It's kinda cool. That's why I don't go for that boost right there, it's just it's too fast. Very easy to fall off the bridge. Haven't gotten burned yet, that's nice. Here we go. I've got 10 minutes to clear this final cup. We get record. How about that? The home stretch. These are the toughest courses, of course. Have to do that hop there. I think Viper's too quick. Otherwise, you just get pushed right off the edge. Disagree, actually. Oh, that was still too early. Oh, that stage is actually fine, except for those jumps on the platforms. I'll grind that out. This is gonna be close.
tough one. Alright, five minutes. What is it? Five or six minutes, actually. I'm not sure on the exact record time. This should be enough. Here's that other Castlevania stage I was talking about. This one's the only stage with this boost pad gimmick. You can see what I mean in a second here. You want to actually totally let go of the accelerator for this. Something like that. I missed. Uh-oh. I didn't make that mistake at all in uh, practice. You want to hop there? So you can at least try and get the boost. It's very inconsistent, but sometimes you'll get it. But I guess you can overjump like that. Okay, that's a lesson for next run. I'm worried that any of these mistakes might cost me the record. There it is. Nice. Okay, last one. Is Alucard in this? No. That would have been cool, though. Playable Alucard. The run ends with the uh, second Metal Gear stage, which I think is pretty neat. This part right here is super awkward. There's no really good way to do it. Like, that's fine. It's just such a tight turn.
really good lap here. Can I close it out? Not bad, not bad. Oh, this is it by a mile. Time. 40-20. Not even close. I cannot stress enough. Completely carried by routing. By over a minute. Now I gotta say, I'm just really thrilled that the routing concept worked out. In a way, these day one records are the best kind because the gameplay is super sloppy, you're still learning. But it proves the idea you had was a good one and it changes how the game is played in the future. So this is gonna be the new standard for all cups in Konami Crazy Racers. You start out as Dracula, you unlock Vic Viper, then you play the rest of the game as Vic Viper, which is a really cool route, I think. It's the Castlevania Gradius Tag Team Run.